Hey guys, it's Sarah. I'm back with my midweek video. I have a couple of things I'm going to talk about today. Um, one is just something that a lot of uh, YouTubers that I subscribe to have been talking about the last couple of weeks, and that's their relationship with the scale and how they deal with the scale, whether it's daily, weekly, monthly. Um, so I wanted to kind of talk about that and talk about what I've been doing as far as the scale goes, and then I did promise that I was going to do some sort of Q&A, and that if anyone had questions, I would um, address them in a video, just in case anyone else has similar questions. So I'm going to address one of those questions today, and then um, I actually have another question that I get all the time that I'm going to make a separate video about following this video, um, just because it's not really weight loss surgery related, it's tech re video related, so I'm going to do that as well. So the scale, I've watched so many videos lately with people talking about the scale and the scale is a bitch. The scale is a bitch, that's all I'm going to say. Um, I know, I know because I've been through it before. Um, those of you who watch my past videos know I had an eating disorder when I was a teenager. The scale was a big, big part of that, a huge part. Um, and so I was pre-surgery pretty afraid of what that scale relationship was going to be like um even though that was you know 16 17 years ago um old habits die hard right and I didn't want to go back to that kind of dark place where the scale ruled my life um so I was I was definitely afraid of what my relationship was going to be like with the scale after that and for just for me it's actually been okay. Um, I've been weighing every day. And I know I said I wasn't going to do that, but I totally do. Um, partially it's just because the scale is there, which I know is bad, but um, it's right by the sink. So after I go to the bathroom and brush my teeth in the morning and jump on the scale, I only do it once a day. I never weigh more than once. Um, I don't weigh at other places. I only weigh on my own scale. If I'm not home, I don't bother. If I've forgotten, I don't bother to get on the scale that day. So... Um, it's more about opportunity, but also right now weighing every day is rewarding because generally speaking, the scale either stays the same or goes down. I haven't actually had a lot of days where the scale actually goes up at all. Um, I'm only seven and a half weeks out from surgery, so that would probably explain that. Um, but yeah, so it is a motivator in a way because I'm seeing the scale go down every day. When the scale stops going down, then that's when it gets a little touchy. Um, I do think there is value in the weighing yourself every day just as far as um, trends and just seeing how your weight responds to different situations, different times of the month, uh, different things that you eat, all that sort of stuff. Um, I've noticed a weird kind of trend and I don't think it has to do with the actual days of the week but I guess just a progression of days but I tend to lose the most weight over the weekend. So often I'll come in and do my, you know, weekly update video on Friday and by Monday I've pretty much lost probably two thirds or three quarters of the weight that I'm going to lose for that following week. Not, not every week has been like that, but very similar. Um, so that's interesting and I wouldn't know that if I didn't weigh myself every day. So I plan on continuing to weigh myself every day until it starts messing with me. Um, and I'm very cognizant of that because of my past experiences that when it starts to mess with my head that's when I have to stop and I have to pull back um for those of you who are at that point now you know those of you who are like the scale is you know a pimp and I don't want to be a hoe anymore I totally understand because I, yeah I'm still working the corner on the scale but that's okay um but those of you who have decided to you know go to weekly weighing go to monthly weighing as long as you have other ways of staying accountable as long as, you know, it's not causing a problem with gains. There's no reason why you need to weigh yourself all the time. I, you know, have followed the journeys of probably hundreds of weight loss surgery patients. And I know there are people out there who have been really successful weighing like once a month. So if the scale is stressing out, step back because it's not worth the stress and the head games. Um, you can be successful without weighing yourself all the time. So... That's that topic. Um, the question I wanted to answer this week was about vitamins. So <clears throat> I know last week I had someone comment, and I'm, forgive me, I can't remember who it was, but they asked about uh, biotin. I was talking about taking biotin and my eyelashes are growing. And I think they were asking, um, 
how much biotin I was taking the dosage. And I've also had a few inbox questions about vitamins and that sort of thing. So I'm going to show you guys what I'm doing right now as far as vitamins go. This is just my vitamin thing. I don't necessarily recommend it for other people. This is based on what my surgeon um, recommends for daily vitamins as well as a few things that I've added on my own just from, you know, research, the experience of other patients, that sort of thing. I also plan on adding in some vitamins at about the three month mark. So after I've done my three month post-op uh, blood work, I'll just see how that comes back and then I want to add in some other things as well once my stomach is, <clears throat> sorry, my stomach is healed. So things like uh, probiotic, I want to start with chia seeds and that sort of thing. But I'm going to hold off on those for another um, probably five or six weeks. So here's what I'm doing right now, vitamin-wise. Um, multivitamin. I take these. These are uh, Celebrate Multivitamin with 18 milligrams of iron. That was the suggestion of my surgeon, so that's what I do. Um, depending on what my iron levels are like when I get my three-month blood work back, I may not need to take the extra iron. Or I may need to add more. So... Um, Following doctor's recommendations right now. These are the grape ones. They're chewable. They're really big. I'll show, the, show you what they look like. Um, if you're pre-op, you can actually go on the Celebrate website. Celebrate makes bariatric friendly vitamins. And they will send you for free a sample pack of pretty much everything that they make, which is great. I believe that Bariatric Advantage does the same as well. Um, the Celebrate website is celebratevitamins.com. This is the size of the multivitamin. It's about, I don't know, probably between three quarters of an inch and an inch wide. <laughs> it's big. <laughs> um, but it's a chewable. Um, before, I got the grape ones. Before surgery, I thought they were disgusting. They tasted vile. Um, there was something about, I don't know if it was the iron or something that made me want to vomit when I, <laughs> when I tried them. Uh, and then, so when I started taking them after surgery, I was like crushing them and you know, putting them in applesauce and doing all this stuff. And the other day I was just like, I I'm just going to try it. And I did and, and I didn't love it, but it was okay. I didn't have that like gagging feeling anymore. So I don't know if that's just taste changing after surgery, but that's a thumbs up for uh, taste changing if that's true. So I take one of those a day. Again, that's my doctor's recommendation. If you've had other types of weight loss surgery um, where malabsorption is part of it, so R and Y, DS, you need to take more than that. But because the VSG doesn't um, include a malabsorption component, we can kind of get away with less vitamins um, than you guys can. So that is my multivitamin that I take every day. Um, I take calcium as well every day. I take these. They're Celebrate as well. Sorry for the lighting issues. They're Celebrate as well. They're Calcium Chews. Um, they have the texture, they are the size and the texture of a Starburst candy. They are delicious. I have chocolate, caramel, and berry. They're awesome. The only thing is they do have four grams of carbs um, for each piece. Yeah. Um, those are mostly sugar alcohols. So I know this is like a big thing. Some people count those, some people don't. From what I've been told, sugar alcohols pass through your system, you don't absorb them. So as far as I'm concerned, those aren't carbs that I'm actually taking in. But if it's something that's you know important to you, each one has um, 250 milligrams of calcium. That's it. So depending on how much calcium you need to have on a daily basis, taking these can add up to a lot of calories and carbs for you. Um, it's 15 calories for each one. So these are not necessarily for everyone, but they're really good. <laughs> they're like a little treat. Um, I also take a B12 supplement. So this is the B12. Again, it's from Celebrate. This is a sublingual. It goes under your tongue. Um, B12 maybe has been helping. Everyone, you know, talks about B12 helping with energy and that sort of thing. Eh, I haven't noticed a huge difference since I started it, but... Let's just say that it does help. So that's the B12. I also take this. Um, this is omega-3. I don't know if you guys can see. Ooh. No. <laughs> anyway, it's omega-3 and vitamin D. Um, it's from a company called Coromega. And it's like a little paste inside and has a super strong uh, orange with a slight like pineapple flavor. Um, and so I take this as well on a daily basis. And last but not least, biotin. This is the biotin that I happened to purchase. I think I got it at 
um, Walmart or Target, you know, one of the big box stores. It's 5,000 micrograms. This is an extra strength, or as this one's called, superior potency version. Um, and they're soft gels, but they're quite small. So I'll show you what they look like. Um, I don't know if this is available in liquid or chewables, but that's the size. So I had no problem taking that even right after surgery. So those are the vitamins that I take on a daily basis. Um, <clears throat> I know one of my past videos, I showed you guys something else I was taking for vitamins, which are these from Celebrate as well. Celebrate ENS. This is a protein shake with all of your multivitamin um, and calcium in here. So it's 25 grams of protein, 500 milligrams of calcium citrate, and a high potency multivitamin. Um, <clears throat> I was taking those at the beginning. I, that wasn't actually originally what I had ordered. I'd originally ordered the drink crystal version of that same thing, uh, which doesn't have the protein. It's just the vitamins and the calcium. And I was sent these ones by mistake. And so I just kept them and that was fine. I didn't really like them though. And it became like a chore to kind of choke it down every day. I wasn't a big fan of the texture of the shake and the flavors were eh. Um, so... I discontinued using them. So I have 12 or 13 of those left. Hi, Dexter. <laughs> I have 12 or 13 of those left. So if you guys are interested at all in, uh, those of you who are pre-op, if you're interested in all, I'm happy to part with those for free. If someone wants to pay the shipping to get them, you know, no problem. So you can uh, just inbox me if you're interested and I'm happy to send those to you guys um, for free because I am not going to use them. So... I wasn't a fan of them, but protein's a really, you know, individual thing, as we all know. So if anyone wants them, let me know. So that is a Q&A for today, and this video is already 12 minutes long, so I'm going to say goodbye, and um, the next video is going to be about um, how I make my videos. So stay tuned for that one if you're interested. Have a great day.